magazine. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to get this look using the ABH Asashi Beverly Hills Narita Collection Volume 3 palette. This is a pro pigment palette, so it's not fresh shadows. Some of these do stain, including the ones I used today. So this one is kind of like this. It's kind of got that, that fall vibe. So I kind of more stuck around with some of these shades. Those I actually are the other shades I used. So if you want more looks with this palette, let me know. I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna try to do more tutorials, not so much first impressions, because I'm not gonna be buying any new makeup for um uh, the next six months, I think, is what I'm gonna try for. So do more tutorials and just deep dives on palettes and stuff like that. So this is today's little fun adventure was using this palette because I was in a folly mood even though my shirt's kind of spring. <laughs> so that is what we used today on the thing. Um, if I look different in like a second when I switch over to starting the tutorial, um, there is a fun mishap that happened. You'll see that happen. So if something looks slightly different, that is why. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and let's get into how I created this look. You guys somewhat zoomed in, I believe, now. And as I mentioned in the intro, which you guys are saw the complete look, using the Ravina palette. Volume 3. Alright, so. We're going to start off with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in Eden. Then I'm just using the color switch on my brush because they are not very clean. I'm going to start off with the shade E3. It's looking pretty even. Next, I'm going to go in with C2. Just a little bit lower. So I'm just lightly tapping into the palette and then going in so I don't get too much pigment. I got to blend. All right. Then I'm going in with a smaller brush. This one's from Elf. I'm gonna go in with C4. Which is the shade, I don't know if you can see this one right here. And I'm just going to work that directly into the crease. Alright, then I'm just going to use that same brush to go back in with some more C2. Just to make sure that edge is blended out. And then I'm going to take a little bit more E3. And just buff out that top edge one more time. Alright. Then I'm going to go in with E2. Which is this kind of brown shade. So it's using the same brush. And I'm just going to add that the lowest point of my crease, just to kind of give it some a little bit more depth. So just like that. All right. And then I'm gonna take some concealer. I'm gonna go with this guy, which is currently open using cut creases. And then I'm just going to dot this. Kind of at the bottom down here. It's a little bit much, but this one just really helps get that cut crease. Then I look down. Okay, because I, I really do need the guidelines to tell me where to go. I feel like people can't, don't need this. I, I need it. I need it badly. I know where my actual crease is, so I know where when I close my eyes. I'm gonna have issues if 
pigment goes above or below that so that doesn't get destroyed. There we go. Now, I think I'm gonna go in with. I think I might do a mixture of these two. All right, that is D2 and D5. My voice is really squeaky all of a sudden. I don't know why. I even feel like every other word I say, my voice is squeaking, which is just great, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna start off with D2. I'm just gonna load a flat concealer brush from e.l.f. That's the name of the brush. With the pigment, and then I'm going to take some ColourPop All Star Setting Spray, which is currently what I use to wet brushes to do just that. And then I'm gonna pack it on to my lids. I don't know what is happening. There it didn't grow enough or somehow my it vanished between the brush and my eye and didn't go anywhere. I don't know how that happened. I'm trying to use a brush. I don't want to use my fingers today. But I just might have to. So this is D2 right now. I haven't even gone to D5 yet, but I will be adding that in. I think that is a gorgeous shade. That looks very similar to this one, to be quite honest, but I don't know. See, my brush, I can put this on, and then look at the brush, it's like almost empty, and there's like no pigment. But then if I go a second coat, then suddenly it's like, oh, hello, I'm all here. <laughs> don't know what's happening, but. And that's just something I'm noticing about this shade. I haven't used this whole palette like that intense yet. I did use it a few times for some Halloween looks, but I haven't used it like just for like straight up makeup yet. Like a makeup look, I should say. Now I'm going to B5. I'm just gonna use a little of this to add a little bit more thick dimensions. What is what this is? This shade I'm gonna zoom over here. Screw it. <laughs> this one more dimensions because it kind of has like a pink, like a peachy undertone to it, which looks great on top of that other, that D2 shade. Same, so just that just made it pop. Okay. That's what I wanted. Alright, I'm gonna take a temporary detour to do some smudgy stuff. Just trying to find a brush I want to use for this. I'm going to use this one, which is a, an elf brush. I don't know what type it is. It's a really small brush. I don't use it for the little lash line. I'm going to use it on top. I'm going to go back in with some C4 and just kind of smudge it along here. On my lash line. I'm gonna do the liner, but I want to do some bit of smoothie on this lash line, and then I'm gonna do it with some more C4. And just kind of tap that. Just kind of make the this blend in with the outer portion. Then some C2. Do that as well. Once you get um, the actual, I wear the E2. Once I get um, the liner on, it will look better. I just wanted to get it some smudgy. Kind of just get it more blended. I just overdid that one side, so I'm gonna go back on the blending brush. Just make sure this outer corner is blended. As seamlessly as possible. There we go. Okay. 
Let me zoom you guys back out and we'll do the face before we come back and finish the eyes. All right, face time. My voice is still very squeaky, I don't know why. I'm gonna start off with the Tarte um, Timeless Smoothing Primer, which I need to eventually start getting a second one because I think I'm almost at the bottom of this one. I think I can see the bottom just starting to appear down here. Which, for a primer, is pretty good for me because I almost never reach the bottom. <laughs> so, I don't really just start using them and then I'm like, ah, oh, I never use this. It's been like a year. <laughs> this one I actually do reach for quite a bit. As you guys can tell, it's, it's, it's almost empty. <laughs> Alright, next is a foundation time. I think today, what are we in the mood for? I think I'm gonna go with the Bee Blender Bounce Foundation. This is in 120. I just squirted that on my shirt. <laughs> just. <laughs> Yay! Well, we'll just blend that in there. And I'm gonna go change shirts at some point. <laughs> but for now, let's just put this on our face. I'm using a real technique sponge if you guys were curious. Which I don't think is wet enough because it's eating all the foundation. Let me go wet this and change shirts and I'll be right back. All right, new undershirt. That's gonna be fun. All right, I'm gonna put the sponge in front of it so it doesn't squirt me this time. <laughs> totally forgot does that. I've been using um, a different foundation lately, but I wanted to go back and use this one today. So I totally forgot I did that. That and like the third pump, so I'm third pump it. It squirts directly upwards, upwards at you, or whatever you want to call it. I guess I'm applying a lot. I have a lot of stress zits that I want to cover today. So my big project at work is done. I was up for 48 hours working the whole time to get it done. And there's still a few leftover things with it, which I need to go do right after this. But it's at a more, it's at a spot where I could leave it for a second and not have to worry. And now that the project is done, I can come back to my blog and YouTube, which I'm really excited about, so. Be expecting more content from me me out soon. Probably gonna do like a look with like almost every palette that I've gotten since I kind of basically AFK'd. Because I just didn't have time to review it. Didn't, like I was using it and everything, like I know my opinions on like all the stuff, but I haven't like had time to like review like anything. I basically just used it and enjoyed it and been a makeup consumer and not so much makeup reviewer, which has actually been quite interesting. And I had a lot of fun doing my Halloween series, which I only did like six or seven looks of. So that was all I could honestly manage to do with work. Oh, that was the Alma Beauty uh, Stay Woke Concealer. And the shade T1 Pearl white white pearl white pearl i trying to think of the name without looking at it there you go all right so i haven't had like a lot of time to like review stuff now i'm gonna use the uh Vizim formula butter bronza and the smurfy fan brush so i'm trying to use more things that i haven't used recently not that anyone knows what i've used recently because i've been offline as i said due to this work project. 
but I will be done with it and I can come back and review all the things that I have reviewed and work is now messaging me like crazy on something. Great. <laughs> Is this the wrong brush? Yes it is. It's not doing anything I want it to do. I kind of forgot how bad this brush was. I should get rid of it. I'm trying to make myself look like I've been on holiday to match my uh, my little shirt thing. But it's um, not working. Look, I've gotten out and had color and done had a life for the last few days is really what I'm trying to go for. Not that I've been stuck indoors. With no human contact for several days. <laughs> there we go. All right. I just put brush in with my bronzer and my bronzer and my brushes. So that's how that works. Uh, I think we go with a peachy blush. Or I might go with this one. No, that's really really bright. Is it this one then? My sister got these for me for Christmas. I'm gonna use the Kiss on a Frog Press Powder Blush from ColourPop. It's a Disney collection, which looks like this. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. And then I'm just using a Luxie 514 brush. Yes, this is a little bit too dark for my skin tone. A little, but you know what? I'm in the mood for a very strong blush today. And then I'm gonna do one of my favorites from ColourPop, which is not available anymore, but I love it, which is glazed. It used to have like this marbled effect on the on the front that's kind of gone away. And I use this on my finger to kind of tap it out. Kind of keep its bow. Get it in the brow. Not brow. The, this this high cheekbone and a little bit up near my brow. And then highlight, you know, all the all the zits. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> As I said, I have a few stressed ones at the moment. And then I'm gonna go in with the Bee Bakery Milk and Honey Palette. I like keeping this even though it's like there's no reason. I just think it looks cuter with this on. It's like the only outer packaging I've ever kept. Because <laughs> I think that looks really cute. This is cute by itself, but this on top, I just love it. And I'm gonna go in with a mixture of Clean Being and Spoiler Alert to set that in place. Which just gives it this extra, extra shine. So, you know, really highlight those those this on your face that you have down the nose and the cupid bow there we go and I'll just slip this back and just check it which is just low cow I put that on the upside down but whatever <laughs> all right next I'm going to do the waterline here before I move on to the rest, I think I'm gonna use this one from ColourPop, which is Joyride. It's a burgundy shade. Which, you know, it's just gonna make my eyes look more green than they do brown. Ish hazel. Maybe more green hazel today. Because you have color theory. Actually, somehow they're looking more brown. They should look more green. No. I don't know what color my eyes are today. I don't think they know what they are today either, to be quite honest. Because they're just kind of like, I'm here, but I, I don't know what I am. I don't know who I am today. All right, then we go back in with that flush brush, flat brush, that small flash brush brown elf it's like really small it's just perfect for working in the water wash line and then we're gonna go in with c4 
which should just go perfectly with Joyride from Colourpop. I'm kind of leaving that inner part alone because I hope it's going there in a minute. Now that we go in with kind of a domed brush from e.l.f. and some E3. Just to smoke out that lower lash line and you know get that jarred way um thing. Maybe not all the way down but like enough where you're like I'm kind of a panda but I'm not like a panda man. Yeah, inner emo kid that you've been hiding for several years, bring that back out onto your face. <laughs> just, just randomly, on various occasions, just bring it back out. No one, no one will be able to tell that you were once an emo kid at all. Okay, there we go. And then we do that inner. That's why I'm trying to find the brush, which is this very small. Smell your concealer brush from e.l.f. Now we're going to use the shade C1, which is this one right here in that palette. We're just going to get that on. I'm going to bring it up, but mainly just putting it in that blank space that we left open down at the bottom. I'm just making sure it's blended into this so it doesn't. It's more seamless. There we go. All right. Next, we're gonna go with eyeliner. I'm in the mood for black eyeliner, and I, gra I somehow grabbed the one brown liner I have. Black eyeliner, my usual favorite one, which is NYX Epic Ink Liner. I just happen to grab the one that has frayed edges, so I'm gonna be careful about that myself. But that's Fine. See, now that I have that smoke, it kind of helps there. I'm trying to be very careful where the frayed edge is. It's my own fault that this brush keeps getting that because I keep just shoving the cap back on. And it's not like a felt liner, it's a brush, so the bristles get um, bent quite a bit. Alright, and then I really want a wing. A really nice wing. All right, at some point my camera died. I added, I think it was Matsumi wings. I added some wings here, and then I threw on some lashes, which were the House of Lashes in the style Radiant, which looks nice. I also added a yellow line up top, not that you can really see it, but I did do it. Um, now I'm gonna go in with ColourPop Cool Cola uh, Brown Color. My brows, and then I gotta figure out how to do her lips because I still have no idea if I'm gonna do a nude or I want to do it the berry. I feel like a berry would be nice, but I feel like the berry from the crease kind of isn't there to do a berry lip, so that's why I'm debating right now while I do my brows, which is. Very quick process, to be quite honest, for me. I seriously don't care how it takes some people like 40 minutes to brow. Now I'm going to pick a brow gel. This is the Frost Brow from Colourpop in the shade Dark Brown. This all takes me for like one brow. I like it, it looks good. It's fine, my hair is doing its hair thing. It got washed and I ran out of gel. I only had the uh, Brio Geo Curl Cream. I only used the Curl Cream and the Curl Gel just to help my curls like not be out of control messes. Be the curly curl hairstyle method since I do have wavy hair, which is now turning into ringlets. Which I think is interesting. I've never had ringlets without using a curling iron, but now my hair is like, oh, we can just do our own thing now? Okay, let's turn into ringlets <laughs> in some spots and then just beach ways in others. 
that's fun. If you just want me to do a video on what I do with my hair, like how I do the curly girl hair method, I could do that. Because I do do it, been doing it for like almost a year now. And I actually don't mind my hair being down anymore. I used to get very, I used to constantly just throw up in buns, which I mean I still do, but, or braids. I used to never really just leave my hair out without me like spending like five hours doing stuff into it. Now it just kind of lives and does its thing. All right, lips, need for our lips. What do I want to do with my lips today? No oh, truth. Nudes. We're gonna use Jeffree Star, can't relate. And then shocking, I'm gonna put a gloss on top. That actually is shocking, I really gloss. I don't know why, I'm just not a gloss person. But I don't know, I feel like I gloss today. Maybe it's just the shade I feel like I need. In the shade Paper Moon, which I know is not available on their website anymore. I don't even know what collection this came from, but it's got like a cute like this moment, which is why I, which is why I won't put it on. I just feel like it would go. See, yeah, I just feel like that gives it an extra something that it needed. Which is odd, because I never want gloss. But this one, I just am like, yes! I have a gloss on it, it looks... Mwah. Oh, I'm just in that mood today. All right, just examining, making sure we got everything. Brows, there, do, 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 do. All right, setting, all-nighter, everybody okay. There we go, and there is the finished look. With my hair being crazy, it just finished drying. I need to throw in um, a thing so it doesn't go more out over time. A defrizzer. That's what I need. I need to put a defrizzer in it, and it's basically done. But there we go. There is the finished look. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a little pause up. Subscribe to the Howl Pack, and let me know what you want to see in the future because I am going to be back on YouTube a lot more now. So yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!